So you all loved my animosity theory video. It honestly got me out of a tough spot seeing everyone love that video. So I thank you all for showing your support on that one. And A, it ended up being pretty much correct. So that was neat. I predicted hate boys and girls, so you know if I make a video on hope, I've got integrity going on here. Now I know what you're thinking. Arthur, you said you wouldn't make a hope theory video. Yes, I did say that. Why? Well, for those of you that don't know, I have become one of Cammy's diamonds, which I did reference in the last video. Cammy's so lackeys, who she shows everything to. Though so I am limited in what I can talk about, because I have actually seen a bit of the episode already. Which is why I'm not here to talk about how hate will be defeated, or what you're probably expecting. No, no. I'm making this video for the same reason I made the animosity one. And that's because I personally feel like I'm seeing something that nobody else is, and I'm tired of trying to explain it. So I make a video. Alright, alright. Now, the actual reason I made the animosity theory video is because, if you remember, I revealed to you that animosity was actually cut in half. Hate is actually animosity part one, and because you've already seen half the episode, it's really easy to try and see where it's leading. You can better predict how part two will end. Now, because this next episode is the season finale, the same idea applies. This episode is the conclusion to the entire season, so by analyzing everything that's gone on in the entire season, you can narrow down what's to come. That's what sets the way I theorize from everyone else. Typically, what you'd try to do is look at what's in front of you. You'd see a big, powerful villain, you'd see Kara, a big, powerful hero, and surely you're on the right track. It's simple. Kara, as the main character, will save the day. Right? Well, that's what Kami wants you to think. But that's not how Glitch Tale works. Glitch Tale doesn't have a singular main character like you'd expect because of Undertale. Glitch Tale's focus shifts across an entire cast, and each character in that cast has a journey, a path to a goal, their purpose in the story. Now remember what I said about analyzing the other episodes. There's only one more episode left, so now we are able to see what every one of these characters' journeys were. Gaster's purpose was to kill Betty. It is built up through the entire season. He watches Betty take and take until we finally reach his conclusion where he obliterates her for it. Through this same logic, we can see that Papyrus wants to prove himself after hearing people doubt him, Undyne needed to learn how to fight with 100% after killing her girlfriend, Asgore and Toriel needed to reconcile as they have evidently never gotten to move on from how Kara and Asriel's death affected them, Jessica needed to atone for what they caused in their anger, Rave was to become the great leader that his brother died knowing he could be. Now that you see what I mean about every character having a journey and purpose, what is Kara's? You see, ever since Betty was revealed to be evil in episode 2, the protagonists had been doing everything they could to kill her and prevent her from doing any more damage, until my promise. You see, my promise introduced a new variable. My promise introduced Hate Asriel, who acted as a wall between the protagonist and Betty. Honestly, this makes me appreciate the love thumbnail even more than I already do, holy heck, but enough gushing. My promise establishes that no one can save Asriel and how unbearable it would be to lose him again. In comes Kara the only one that can save this character. This is his purpose. This is his journey. Saving his best friend and brother. Kara's purpose is to save Asriel. Where am I going with this? Well, everyone assumes Kara will be the sole hero of this story because you associate him with the main character. But main characters are the sole hero because of their character development. When a main character takes down the bad guy in the finale, it's because everything in the season was building up to that moment. Kara doesn't have that. Kara isn't building up towards anything but saving Asriel. But why? possible that Asriel is the key component to this finale? Well, saving him was so important, so maybe, right? Well, let's apply the same logic we did to Kara and find out what Asriel's journey was. Asriel's journey is about the many issues of his past coming back to haunt him. In My Sunshine, Asriel talks to Sans about his time as Flowey, because Sans is the only one who already knows, so Asriel was able to talk to him about that, however, still showing reluctance to do so. As for everyone else, Asgore mentioned that Azriel refused to answer their questions. To quote the episode, When we first saw you, your mother and I had so many questions, but you told us not to ask you about it. He has been bottling it up. He has been keeping all of those feelings to himself to constantly eat away at him. This is where the hate section of his arc comes in. I've seen many people say hate ruined Azriel, as if everything that was being built up was tossed away. No. Hate brought out everything Azriel was hiding deep within him. That was the entire purpose of that. To show just how much Azriel was hiding, how much he was hurting. And now that he's let all of that out, you can see just how much stronger he's become. In episode 2, Azriel blasted Kumu with fire and it did absolutely nothing. But in the trailer for Hope, Azriel's fire is able to launch Hate across city blocks. And Hate is way stronger than Kumu. 
Kumu was only half of Betty. Why is this happening? Well, this is how monsters work. Monsters are tied to their intent and emotional state. For example, having an extremely high intent to harm will increase the damage magic can do. Being emotionally conflicted, however, will weaken your magic. To give you an idea of how hard this was holding Azrael back, I want to explain the nature of his unique soul. Camilla has confirmed many times that a determination soul is a perfect combination between all six traits. But Azrael's soul is just that, so... Why doesn't it turn into a determination soul? Well, she confirmed that too. It's because he's a monster. What does this mean? Is it weaker? Well, no actually. It has the exact same amount of magic, but it doesn't work like determination. Determination users get stronger by being determined. While Azrael has the same amount of power, he doesn't get stronger by simply being determined. He's a monster. So he gets stronger through intent and emotional state. They power up differently. So as I end this episode, I know what you're asking. What is my point? Am I trying to say that Kara will be shunned to the side while Azriel will save the day? Absolutely not. But I am saying the opposite won't apply. Azriel is the character that Kami has chosen to develop. Kara didn't learn or develop at all. Kara was already strong. Kara's sole purpose in the story is to bring Azriel back and stand by his side as his best friend. If after all of that, after all of Azriel's learning and development, Kara beat Hate on his own, it just wouldn't that up? It's just not the direction Camilla has been taking this story. Now I can already see everyone who knows who I am rolling their eyes. There's the furry Asriel simp, all he cares about is Asriel. I see all of you. Even you, Camilla Cuevas. Now well you're biased, Arthur, because you only like Asriel and nothing else. That's not true. <laughs> Get the jokes. And I love the jokes. But in all seriousness, I need you to level with me here. I love every character in Glitch Tale, And I love to analyze every single one of them. Not just Azrael. Why do I get more excited about Azrael on screen than other characters? Because he was written this way. He was written to be an important character. One that would be a key component to the show's final battle. And it frustrates me that no one else sees this. No one looks into the actual writing of these characters. You all expect Kira to be the sole hero of this story simply because you relate him with the main character type. But the purpose of this video was to enlighten you that there is more going on. Glitch Tale isn't basic like that. Glitch Tale isn't the type of show that you can close your mind to one specific moment. Glitch Tale is the type of show that wants you to recognize the entire picture. The entire journey these characters have been on. Everything they've been through. This finale is the culmination of all of the episodes so far. And I hope this video helps you see that.